We were surprised by the results of the blood work. No bath salts, no flocka. Late this afternoon, the Martin County State Attorney's Office released its toxicology report on Austin Harrop. He's the teenager the sheriff claims violently attacked and murdered a Tequesta couple in their home this summer. And those blood results are just the beginning of the revelations in the thousands of pages of court discovery now available to the public. News Channel 5's John Shaman is outside the Martin County Courthouse with the story of the man who tried to rescue the victims. John. That's right, Michael and Kelly. Uh, Jeff Fisher tried to rescue his neighbors, uh, Michelle Mishkan and John Stevens. He almost became the third victim. In an interview with Jeff Fisher, he tells detectives he first heard screams coming from across the street. When he went to check out his neighbor's home on Kokomo Lane, he saw Austin Harriff hitting a woman, and he would, quote, continue to hit her on the way down. That woman is Michelle Mishkan. Fisher said he never sees her husband, John Stevens, whose body would be found in the driveway. Fisher and Harriff get into a scuffle, and Fisher did realize at some point he'd been stabbed. When asked if he could pick out Harriff in a lineup, Fisher said he'd be willing to because, quote, I want the son of a bitch to go down. He also said he saw Harriff's face once, and Harriff said to him, you don't want this. You don't want to be a part of this. Blood work done by the FBI showed Harriff with an ethanol level of 0.17 and trace amounts of THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, but there were no bath salts or flocka in his system. I was surprised by the results, and of course we'll have to leave it up to the jury now, the trier of fact, to determine what, if anything, the, the blood work impact will have on their, on their trial. A statement released by one of Harriff's attorneys said that Austin is struggling with severe mental illness and the judicial process will bear all of this out in due time. In the discovery files, there are dozens of photos of Austin being taken from the scene and in the hospital. There are also many crime scene photos documenting what investigators saw that night. Which was a, an unfortunately a very tragic but violent uh, homicide scene. Both John Stevens and Michelle Mishkan suffered multiple stab wounds, according to the medical examiner's reports in those files. Austin Harriff remains in isolation in the medical wing in the Martin County Jail. Uh, we've been told by the sheriff that he has not created any disturbances since he's been in that jail and has not made any statements to law enforcement since the day he was arrested. We're live in Martin County, John Shane with WPTV News Channel 5.